All right, coming up next, it is a featherweight matchup between Alexander the Great Volkanovsky and Rafael Asunsa. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a damn weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Volkanovski. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over. Now he falls back into the finishing position. So the he tap comes it. shortly thereafter. Next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can go a little bit better. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nice punch there by a Sun Sal. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round, really starting to find some consistency with that one. He's finding a hole for that hook. He does a phenomenal job of keeping the elbow tight, really twisting his hip into that That one, one appeared to stun him. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Left and right here. Oh. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Under three minutes remain in round one. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Let's go! Get him off! Get him off! Oh. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by a sunset. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A sunset's got the full mount. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Five seconds remain in the round. He's gonna take armbar here. Finish it. Finish it. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Featherweight division fight. You ready? Are you ready? 
All right, so here we are back in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Truly an MMA hotbed this year. As the arena has been a host to a number of different historical moments in the UFC and absolutely UFC history here tonight. In one of the biggest moments for women Brazilian fighters, Amanda Nunes fought there and retained her title. Jessica Andrade knocked out Rose Namajunas to become the UFC strawweight champion. This is a great arena for great fights and some of the best Brazilian performances were had in this arena. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack a Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his right hip. The is not the arm, it's the shot. Nicely done. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Takedown defense holds up. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, and there is another knee. Man, those are doing a lot of damage to his opponent here in this fight. I'd be crying to my Cheerios in the corner by now. Ow! Wow, what a head kick! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. the punch. Oh, strong punch there by a sunset. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, he's timing the shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop. <laughs> well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by a Sun Sao. 20 seconds now remain in the round. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Five minutes in the books. is unbelievable. Oh, big left hand there.
gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. Here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffett. 